Hi everyone, welcome to Portway. Um, tonight I'm joined by Lulu Poli, the club chairman. Obviously, it's been quite a long time though. I was looking back, I think it's the end of last season, Redditch game, the match we won the league in. So, obviously, since then, obviously, we've won the cup, got promotion, and we've got a new coaching set up after Clive uh, left us at the end of last season. So, I just wanted really to have a catch up and get your thoughts on the campaign so far. Yeah, I mean, I think um, last season was couldn't have gone any better. Um, and our game against Aston Old Reds uh, sort of set the tone really about for this season, gave us an idea that uh, we could compete. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was, I've been confident that during the close season that uh, we would do okay, if not very well, in this league. Uh, and so far, with the exception of the Coventrians game, um, it's panned out as I hoped and um, and. Uh, I think we've shown ourselves to be extremely competitive in yeah. in this league. Yeah, and I suppose a little bit more on that now would be um, see James and Tom coming in yeah. and stuff. And you know, what's the effects they've had on the team so far? You've seen changes performance, changing approach and stuff like that. You, you know, up to your yeah. I, I think thinking. I think uh, Clive made it clear to me sort of uh, this time last year really that uh, he had decided that this was going to be that was going to be his last season uh, and so we were thinking about uh, his replacement very early on and I think it became clear that um, uh, Clive had probably taken the squad as far as he could mm -hmm. uh, I think he'd be the first to accept that and that a, a new fresh approach would rejuvenate the squad would would um, reset uh, the playing style that we're looking at uh, and um, so when we went out to interview in my head I had uh, an, a view of what we needed to, to take the, the, the lads forward particularly around developing our, our backs yeah. um, and really James was the standout um, uh, applicant mm. uh, although there were several other very very talented uh, coaches that came in but for what we were looking for uh, I think he was uh, he fitted our, our, um, our perfect uh, um, coach mm -hmm. um, most closely um, and I'm delighted the way that uh, he has stepped in he's hit the ground running uh, he's brought Tom in, um, which is also a bonus to us, who, yeah. who to, to, to cover the backs. And I think we can safely say that uh, his influence can be seen clearly in the, in the, in the way in which our backs uh, set themselves out and how the team play. Um, and both in attack and defence, there has been a, a uh, development and, and the, the playing squad has reacted extremely well to the new coaching philosophy. Yeah, and I mean that kind of showing in that we're now starting to attract some more players. Yeah, and as the last couple of weeks and stuff, we've been able to get towards the second team going out, and obviously last week we had to manage to get one. Yeah, so, you know, it was that. big, big jump from because it's six years ago <coughs> that we last had one out. So. In, indeed, and and uh, it's it's really exciting that that we've got. Uh, uh, we've put ourselves out there, and we've got new players coming coming in who are you know setting competition for the existing yeah, yeah. And, uh, squad uh, and there's nothing like competition to really really drive personal development uh, yeah. on. and that that's uh, that's been clear to see um, and hopefully uh, over the rest of this season we'll will embed that second team uh, even more uh, deeply into into the uh, club Mm -hmm. and and get a few more games so that next year we may be in a position to consider uh, entering the second team into some sort of competitive environment as well. Yeah, because it adds a lot more drive and impetus for the players then. Absolutely, course, doesn't it? yeah. Um, so I suppose as well, in coming into this season, there's some movements going on off the pitch as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, which some of you might have seen if you've been up at the club with some stuff at the bar, uh, starting work and stuff. And I know there's some other works planned, but I was just kind of wondering kind of what it might yeah, be. Yeah, so, so um, we had the opportunity to apply for an RFU loan um, 
last year, which we were successfully, which we success, successfully did. Uh, we are using the money to, to refurbish uh, the clubhouse. It is 60 odd years old um, and uh, we've had great work done by our volunteer workforce in maintaining the uh, facility. Uh, but we need to modernise it and, and tidy it up a little bit. So we've got um, uh, a, a programme to uh, improve the bar area and yeah. make it more modern, more attractive. Um, the uh, windows are going to be changed to help us with our, with our uh, um, uh, energy uh, uh, <laughs> bills. Um, uh, and we're delighted that our, one of our club sponsors is, is helping us uh, to do this at uh, um, uh, what could be termed friends rates. Um, we've got some plans to refurbish the club, the changing areas. Firstly, we've got to sort the roof out and that's, that's going to be uh, done fairly imminently. Uh, and then um, there are several other phases in, in the uh, pipeline, um, including a, a new patio area outside the clubhouse. Um, improving the audiovisual um, mm -hmm. things that we can provide at the club and just make this a bit more of a saleable asset to, to, to work outside of the normal weekend and playing um, timetables that we, we, we currently have. Yeah, yeah, it's like many, any modern rugby club, you can't just rely on that to no, earn absolutely. all your money now. And no, paying. absolutely. We, we, we need to start generating income and using the facilities to do that. And hopefully the, the, the refurbishment will go some way to help us do that. Yeah, so I mean, all that kind of coming together this season, and it's like a big push because yeah. for everyone, you kind of see it's all re regeneration and stuff like that, and it will boost with that. So I suppose now looking forward to currently, um, we've got Kings Norton away on yeah. Saturday. What you thought, you know, what you think? Well, you're Kings Norton are clearly one of our, our closest uh, neighbours. They're only about, uh, you know, three miles down the road. Um, they they have bolstered their squad this season and 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 uh, are, are being very competitive in this league. It'll be a tough game. Uh, I have no doubt about it. Um, and uh, we will be doing very well if we come away with a, a W there. Um, I'm sure that they will want to uh, test our squad to to uh, the absolute limits. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, it'll be uh, an absolute humdinger. Yeah. Should be good and hopefully you know we'll have loads of spectators again and stuff yeah. down there look like we've had for every game so far it's been sometimes outstripping the home team well <laughs> you know we have had we have had a, a core supporter base that has been very loyal to us through the last few years um and they've continued to support the club and, and turn up on a saturday and it, it is uh, really exciting on a Saturday to hear the noise that our supporters uh, create to, 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 to support the lads. Yeah. Um, and we want to uh, take this opportunity to, to thank them and hopefully that they will still come and they're enjoying the rugby that we're producing for them. That's great. So hopefully we'll see all of you there on Saturday away at Kings Norton. Indeed. <laughs> Cheers, Lou. Thanks.